What's the deal, y'all? This your man, King Eric, the media assassin, coming at y'all with another video. Be sure to subscribe and the like button for me. So, I read this news here that Quality Control, KC, I mean QC, has been sold for $300 million to a company named Hive America, a company led by executive and talent manager named Scooter Braun. And let me give you my thoughts about this, man. I'm very disappointed. This is the, the picture alone is disgusting to me. Many may say, well, they got to the bag, though. They about to create something else. Fuck all that, man. Everybody said the same thing when Bob Johnson sold BET. And what do we end up with? A basketball team that didn't win nothing. Now, it's good for them. But for all these niggas to whine and cry, man, they gentrifying our culture. We don't own anything. This is the exact reason why we champion these same moves, as if it's going to benefit our people. What, are they going to open up a liquor store? A strain, a, a weed straining department? A weed straining business? It's nothing and nothing productive. I was going to say this, man. Why not sell QC to an up-and-coming black company? Why not sell it to even Jay-Z? Or Puffy? Or Russell? I even say Steve Stout. But damn, we always selling our create creations to these cult these, these culture vultures. We we sell it to people, we sell it to the Arabs, we sell it to the Asians. Low build at that for 300 million, and that was a part of the hottest catalog in the game. These guys had Duke Deuce, Migos, City Girls, Lil Baby, Lil Yachty, Rich the Kid. These streams generate billions. They sold it for $300 million. Now what's going to happen? They're going to go ahead and sell it off a double and make a billion off what they already gave them. They're going to make double off of that what they gave QC. Or they already gave Coach K. And they're going to make double off of it. It happens all the time. You never, ever see the owners of Coca-Cola, Pepsi, McDonald's, or Walmart selling stock to no black investment company or no niggas. But here we are, selling everything we create to them, and they get the revenue ownership off our hard work. Yeah, you get a bag, but where is it going to go? Right back to them. And now people may say it's because of the energy of rap or takeoff's death and they want to get out of the game. But damn, why not put it or sell it into black hands? You mean to tell me all these people within this black excellence club and nobody could come together and acquire these assets? Like, I even feel comfortable if they sold it to Barry Gordy. Like, somebody... You got a you got a white boy named Scooter now owning one of the hottest black labels in the game. Scooter, are you? I mean, this should be this is a this is, should be a it's ridiculous, man. We always looking to cash out on everything, and we don't have nothing to show for it. Now that catalog is going to generate billions. Little baby going to probably drop it. He going to generate billions. It happens all the time. It's been happening for several years. And it's like, damn. Send those assets and send that publishing or send those le or send all that to some black hands. People that really know the business. So that way it could generate future income and revenue for us. You sold it to a dude named Scooter. I'm disgusted, man. So people may say, you know, they may come in this com come in this comment session and talking that ish. I don't care. I'm disgusted, man. So subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.